Hey guys, it's Justin from Delish, and today I'm joining you from outside the legendary Rutz Hut in Clifton, New Jersey. I am an absolute Jersey piece of trash. I love being part of the bridge and tunnel crowd. I loved going to Seaside Heights growing up. I'm a pork roll, egg and cheese person till I absolutely die. But one of the things that makes me most proud that I don't think enough people talk about is the hot dogs. That's right, New Jersey has been secretly killing the game for decades. I'm gonna show you not just the best hot dog in New Jersey, but very likely the best hot dog in the entire country. And that hot dog is called the Ripper. It's 10 in the morning and I have no shame. I have ordered two perfect rippers. Like look at these like perfect little like seams that rip through, it's without fail. We're always talking about snap when we're talking about hot dogs, that initial crunch and break that happens when you bite into it. There's nothing that accomplishes that better than hot oil. You can see how the oil has caused these guys to just absolutely rip open. I must figure out how they do this. Mm. I think that these are perfect. I'm like on the verge of tears here. I, I, I don't really know if there's a better food. Another thing that proves my point about not judging a Jersey book by its cover is this relish. If you look at how perfectly yellowy, weird looking this is, but it actually is like a perfect concoction of pickles and carrots and all different types of veggies and vinegar, and it just makes it the perfect topping for a hot dog. All right, I need to eat these, so I'm gonna go ahead and top one of these dogs and have a bite. And I'm eating my hot dog. Oh no, relish on the car. Relish on the car. And it's my grandma's car. Can't have relish on the car. I can't, I can't. I'm a mess, I'm a mess, guys. I think we are one of two states that you are required to have your gas pump for you. And I think that's because New Jersey people are always eating. I wanna try to recreate this dog and I'm very, very excited to do it. So I'm gonna have like nine million more bites um, and then we're gonna go back to my kitchen and see if I can figure it out. Hmm. Well, it's not really my kitchen, it's my mom's kitchen, but it's perfect because this kitchen is located in suburban New Jersey, which is where I ate almost all of my hot dogs growing up. And it is the perfect setting for trying to recreate that perfect deep fried ripper hot dog. It's really important to think about what you're shopping for. So. The type of hot dog, believe it or not, actually matters. If we want to get that Rutz Hut style ripped seam, we really need to look for natural casing hot dogs. If we go back to how it used to be done, if we do it a little throwback style, all sausage for a very long time in order to keep it all in that emulsified meat mixture in place was done using some form of animal tissue, oftentimes intestine that was twisted off and made airtight. It's not gross. I know it sounds like it, but like this is what your grandparents or your parents or even yourself have ate all growing up. So don't be scared, don't be freaked out. And so I have a little bit of a treat because I'm just, I'm going all jerseyed out. I'm like, you might as well call me Polly D from Jersey Shore, how crazy I'm going. But these hot dogs, these beautiful guys and gals are from another New Jersey hot dog institution. And they happen to sell them in my grocery store closest to my mother's house. It is called the Windmill. They mimic exactly what that Rippers and the Ruffs, Ruts Hut, like pink hot dog. They're not red, they're kind of more natural looking. They're big and I don't have buns that really fit it, so this is gonna kinda look a little silly, but I promise they're gonna be delicious and they shrink up really, really well. I have a frying pan, just with about like a half inch, three quarters of, inch of inches of oil. I'm gonna put it over high, and we're gonna wanna get this to 350 degrees. And we're gonna go in with our dogs. They're going to bubble and spit immediately. A lot of that blistering and ripping is gonna happen in these first couple of moments. That's exactly what we're looking for. You can already see these rips forming here in these beautiful hot dogs. Let's give them a quick turnover. So these are nearly done. You can see some nice browning on the sides here and you definitely have some ripping here. Wow, look at that perfect seam. That's exactly what we're looking for. So we're going to get these out and onto our paper towel line plate. And once they're done, put them in buns, Toast them, don't toast them. I love hot dogs so much, I don't even need anything on them. That's the thing. I did it, I made New Jersey proud. I made the perfect replica of these fried hot dogs. They look like the real deal. They are perfect. They have that signature rip down the middle. They kind of look zombified, 
but that's kind of the point. You, you want it to look a little gnarly and crazy because that just shows you that there's more texture, more crisp. Part of what makes it perfect is that it is a blank canvas. You can put cheese, chili, you could do what I did. You could do sauerkraut and mustard. I mean, these are so perfect looking. I can't even imagine why you'd want anything else. And also look how comically, comically big these are. They look like something that shouldn't be eaten and that's exactly why we're gonna eat them. The snap is crazy. The crispiness and the inside is cooked so evenly and so perfectly. I'm gonna eat this entire plate. I can't contain myself. Please, please, please try this recipe and let us know how it went. Thanks so much guys and until next time, see you later.